Hello, brothers and sisters. Good day to you all. We thank God again for giving us such an opportunity to come together to hear His word. Today, our topic of discussion will be the new man, part two. Before we start, I want us to pray. In Jesus' name, mighty God, everlasting Father, King of kings, Lord of lords, great one in battle, Lily of the Valley, Rose of Sharon, Bright and Monster. Mighty God, we give you praise, honor, and adoration. We lift your name high because you are God. There is none compared to you, O God. We thank you for giving us such an opportunity today to come before you to hear your word. I pray, O God, that you give us a listening ear, give us a recessive heart. Let your word come deep into our heart, grow forth, and bring forth fruit in hundredfold. Touch our heart, O God. Speak to us. Let this word, O God, that we hear transform our lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. And help us, O Lord God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, not only the, to be the hearer of this word, but also the doer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Also, by the power of your Holy Spirit, help us, O Lord God, to keep your word in our heart, so that we might not sin against thee. Mighty God, I thank you. King of glory, I worship and I praise you. I come before you, God, as your servant. I pray, Lord God, that you speak your word to your people. Let nothing of my own comfort, O God, but let your word comfort the way you want your people to hear it. I said, let every man be a liar and your word be truth. Speak your word, O God, and let the life of your people never be the same in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I invite you, Lord God, to, into, into, our, into our midst. Come and take your place. Come and take preeminence so that all that will be done, all that will be spoken here, Today will be from you and nothing of my own, nothing of my own, oh God, will comfort in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we thank God again. Today we'll be discussing second part of the new man. Uh, before I made the video, the new man part one or the new man in christ you can go through the other videos and you will, you will find find it there so today we are going to talk about the new man part two you see the first uh, video that i made the new man was to speak about god or jesus christ preparing us as his servants as his sons and daughters for the new spirit that it was going to pour upon us i use an illustration from uh, the book of matthew or uh, i also I also use the uh, uh, that's from the stories matthew mark luke and john the stories are in matthew mark luke and john the story of jesus christ when he was telling uh, his disciples that as a new Christian, they are supposed to let go of everything that is old. Because the story that he, he, he used was this. When they asked him, why do the disciples of John the Baptist and the Pharisees fast. He gave this example saying that if the the bridegroom is still that's if the, 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 the friends of the bridegroom is with the bride bridegroom, they don't fast. But when the bridegroom is taken from them, then they will fast. So he, he used an example saying a new wine is normally put on a new wine skin a new wine is not put on a old wine skin if you put a new wine on a old wine skin it will burst and the wine will spill but if you put a new wine on a old a new wine skin then the new wine skin will contain or exactly will contain the 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 new wine and that new wine will not spill so i explained that jesus christ was trying to make the people understand that now that he, the Lord Jesus Christ, is with them, they 
yet have not been filled with the Holy Spirit. So they are not willing to fast. But when he is taken away from them, then they will fast. Jesus Christ at that very point in time was preparing. That's what he said. He was preparing them for the spirit that will come upon them. He was preparing them as new Christians, as as new uh, 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 new men and new women in, in, in God. He was preparing them for the spirit that will come upon them. That's why he was saying, when the bridegroom is taken from them, then they will fast. When they, before you put a new wine in the whole skin, in a, in a, before you, if you want to preserve a, a wine, you have to pre preserve a new wine in a new wine skin. A new wine cannot be put in a old wine skin. Meaning, the disciples, all that was following him, his followers, all of them were of the old wine skin. But the new wine that is coming have to be put on a new wine skin. So he was at that time preparing them to be able to contain the new wine that will be poured upon them. That is the Holy Spirit. So, and I went forth to, to, to explain that as we as Christians, that's how we are supposed to also do in our life. As new Christians, we are supposed to, when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are supposed to let the old things pass away. I also went that day to read the Corinthians. I think it's uh, First Corinthians First Corinthians chapter chapter or second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen which says if any man is in Christ Jesus all things are passed away and everything become new. So I also explained that meaning as a Christian we are supposed to let all things be passed away and let our life become new because we are not supposed to continue with our whole life with our whole behavior, with our with our whole mindset as a new Christian. We are supposed to let the whole life, everything that concerns the old man, be put away. So that the new spirit, the new man can come to manifest. So today we will be continuing the new man in Christ as a Christian. You see, most of what we'll be talking about today is Brother Paul speaking to uh, 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 on his that's his letter to the Christians in his time. We are. I'm going to use this as well to to encourage us as Christians to encourage us as Christians to live as a new man. You see, as a Second Corinthians. Before we start, I quickly want us to read there. Second Corinthians. Chapter 5, verse 17. So let me quickly read there before we start. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. He said, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. That is what we are going to start with today. If any man is in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. As a Christian, we are supposed to let everything that concerns our old man be put away. Everything that concerns our old man, we are supposed to let it go away. Because we are not supposed to bring that character, character of the old man, the behavior of the old man. We are not supposed to bring it to or pass it over to our life that we now live as a new Christian. We are supposed to let the, 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 the power, the blood of Jesus Christ, wash away all our old sins and never, never. To return to it again because that is what makes us a new man in Christ. All things passed away and everything become new. All things passed away and everything become new. We are supposed to let our whole life, everything that concerns us, be passed away. So, 
Now, today, I want us to go to Ephesians chapter 4, starting from verse 17 to verse 31. Let us hear what Brother Paul tells us here. You see, I know for us as Christians, we are we have heard so many things like we can live the life we want to live, we can be whom we want to be. All we just need to do is to give our life to Jesus Christ. And if you are any person that follows me on this channel, you will know that I always talk about these things. Any person that is preaching such thing, if we go to church and the preacher, the pastor, is not telling us about holiness, about repentance, that pastor is in error. Any church where they don't remind us of holiness, sanctification, righteousness, that church, those that are leading it, they are in error. You cannot be a Christian and remain whom you are. Many people, as many people will say, just come as you are, yes, but come as you are and change. Jesus Christ expects us as Christians to change. That's why Brother Paul was also eating it very hard on them in, the, in his days. You are, not so, you are not to be as a Christian and remain to be a baby Christian. When you come into Christ Jesus, you are supposed to grow. You are supposed to grow as you continue to learn about Jesus Christ. So let us read, because I don't want uh, this uh, teaching this today to be too too long. Now, Ephesians chapter four from from verse seventeen. I read this. I say therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as others Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in the, that is in them, because of the blindness of their hearts. Now let me stop there for a moment. Why are people alienated from the things of God? Because of the ignorance and the blindness of their hearts. As a Christian, whether you be a new Christian or you have been a Christian for long, if you be a new Christian, you are supposed to strive, you are supposed to walk, pray that God will give you grace and the power to be perfected. Because we should remember that Jesus Christ said, when he comes back, he's not coming for people that have their garments dirty. Meaning for those people that are not holy, he's not coming for them. But he's coming for a holy people. People that have kept their garments white. With her stain, with her in coke, that blemish. These are the people that Jesus Christ said is coming for. So as Christians, we are supposed to, 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 to have our, our understanding. Uh, 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 that's, we are supposed to renew our, our mind. Have our understanding uh, 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 illuminated by God, by the Holy Spirit. And not to, be, and not, and not to have a... a, 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 a and understanding that is dark, but we should, we should open up, see Christ with sincere heart. Let the old man be, be 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 gone away, the old character, and accept the new things that Christ will bestow upon us. We are supposed to have our understanding illuminated by the light of Jesus Christ, and not to have our understanding darkened. That is the reason why people don't grow. That is the reason why people still remain being sinners even while they confess or profess that they are Christians. Because why? Because their understanding is darkened and they are alienated from the life of God. Darkness and life, darkness and light does not have anything to, 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 to do with each other. Darkness has nothing in common with light. You cannot say you know God and you be a sinner. You cannot say you know God and you perpetually do sin. That is that makes you an, an, an evil person. That that means you have not you have not you have not been taught by God. You have not known Christ. 
You have not given your life to Christ. That's why I say always, you see, God, we should not deceive ourselves. God is not mocked. The Bible said, whatever a man sow, that shall he reap. If you sow good, then you also reap good. But if you sow evil, you also reap evil. Whatever a man sow, that shall he reap. God will give back to every person according to his work. Now, let us continue our reading. Having the understanding that king, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lashes, lashes, lasciviousness to walk all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, put on, as, is, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt, according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. You see it here. That's what the Bible is saying. That ye be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Did he say? which after God is created the righteousness and the true holiness. Yes, that is what he said. Meaning, as a Christian, anybody that has given his or her life to Jesus Christ is supposed to live in holiness and righteousness. You see, that's why Jesus Christ said, if you love me, obey my commandment. He that created us, our God who has called us out of darkness into light, as he is holy, so be ye holy. That's what Jesus Christ said. So if Jesus Christ command us to be holy as God is holy, and he also said, if we love him, we should obey his commandment, what are we supposed to do as Christians? Yes, we are supposed to remove ourselves from that life of darkness. We are supposed to remove ourselves from that life of, of evil. Lasciviousness. Lashis, that life of, of, of drunkenness. That life of, of, of a, a gossip. Of... of, of all type of evil malice, all that type of 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 th things, those things that that does not please God. We are supposed to remove ourselves from it. Even while while we were in the world, while we did those things, but now that we are in, Christ, in Jesus Christ, that now that we are new creations, new creations, new creations in Jesus Christ, or now that we are new creatures in Jesus Christ, we are supposed to live the life according to how God wants us to live it, meaning to be holy. To be holy and righteous. He went forth and say, Therefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. He continue and say, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your heart. You see, as Christians, we are supposed to, all malice, all anger, all fitty gisting, all dirtiness that all cows, all cows, uh, 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 conversation, dirty conversation, we are supposed to put it away. We are, not so, we are not supposed to partake in it at all. If before we enjoyed those things because we were sinners, because we were in the dark, now that we are now Christians, now that we are now born again, now that, now that we give our life to Jesus Christ, we are supposed to live to, 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 to. To, to let those things be put away from us. That is how we can show that, yes, we are true believers, true sons and daughters of the Most High God. He says here, be ye angry. Let not the sun be ye angry, but sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your heart. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather, let him 
work. Let but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needed. Let no corrupt communication exactly. As a Christian, we are not supposed to 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 speak things like we were speaking while we were while we were sinners, while we were in the world. We are not supposed to communicate. Let evil communication. Corrupt communication, lies, all these things, we are not supposed to let it be with us at all. We are not supposed to let it be seen in our character. We are supposed to show the character of the new man. That is whom we are supposed to be. So that people will see Jesus Christ in us. So that people will know that, yes, these are children of the Most High God. Living in holiness, living in righteousness. Separated from the world. Our mind be renewed. By the by 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 by, by the, the, the 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 things that is after Christ, not after the things of the world. So he went forth. Let no com- corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are seed unto the day of redemption. We are not supposed to grieve the Holy Spirit. God, if we continue to be in sin, if we continue to do the things that we are that we that we were doing while we were sinners, if we continue to walk in, in, in darkness, I mean while we profess that we are Christians, if we continue to allow darkness to be to, to be seen in us, to 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 be you see, anyone that does that does sin, like Brother John said in his in, in second John, anyone that does evil is of the devil. If you are a sinner, you do sin and you enjoy doing sin, you are not of God, you have you have the devil. If you profess you are a Christian, you go to church, you are lying to yourself. The Holy Spirit that's in you as a as a Christian, born a gay Christian. When you continue to do your sin, when you continue to walk in sin, what you do is you're grieving the Holy Spirit that's in you. And that's what the Bible is telling us here. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and glamour and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Simple as that. Let all things that are not good, malice, bitterness, wrath, anger, be put away from you. We are children of God. We are supposed to show forth the light. As you see, when Jesus Christ was on earth, he showed us an example of how we should live. I know many people will say it's no, it's no easy, it's no easy. Yes, it's no easy. Nobody is perfect. But with God, all things are possible. If you give your life to Jesus Christ, and you seek and you walk after him. You ask him to strengthen you by his power of his by the power of his Holy Spirit. You see that all these things that is that you that you think is difficult because you have been in the world and you have been doing that sort of you have been living that sort of life, evil life. Now you came you come to Christ, think it's difficult to live holy. You see that when God when you start to walk sincerely with God, God will empower you. It's not of your own power, it's not of your own strength. But it's by the Spirit of God, so says the Lord. It is His Spirit that He will bestow upon you if you ask Him, if you if you if you walk with Him and ask Him to fill you with His Holy Spirit. It is that Spirit that will also give you the strength to be holy, to live perfectly, awaiting the time that Christ will come to take us to heaven. I heard you, my brothers and my sisters, Christians. We are supposed to live a holy life. We are supposed to let the old man be put away from us. For 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 for, for God's sake, we call ourselves Christians. I, you see, when I look at the 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 the, the, the Christian dump today, when I look at things that is happening in the church, how Christians, how, what, what they say, how what, how how they how they even want to to fight, to tell you that you're wrong, telling them to live holy and to live righteous. They will argue with you to to. To show, they want to tell you to show you up. They tell you that you cannot, you cannot be a Christian and, and live holy. That's meaning uh, uh, you are covered by the grace. Yes, that's what the word the word they use. 
then then what is grace then where is grace but grace does not permit us to sin but the Paul said because grace abounds should we continue with sin he also said god forbid we that are called of god renewed after the the the, the, the spirit of christ we are supposed to never again go and be doing things that are not after the will of god the things of the of the devil things of evil as christians we are supposed to being a christian being called of god out of darkness to light we are supposed to show forth the spirit of god that is in us as christians we are supposed to show it forth that is how men and women we see yes these people this man this woman yes he's a christian he's a changed person he's a new person how would you say you are now a new creature in Christ Jesus, then you still continue to sin? Did you not put away sin when you died to Christ and was risen to him in baptism? Then why would you still be partaking in sin? That's what Brapo is encouraging us. And I also, that's why today I've come to encourage us as Christians. Let us use this opportunity to check our life again. To examine our life. Let us look at these things. And examine our life. You see, if you go to Galatians, you see there. Let me quickly uh, 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 take us through there. You see there the character of the new man, which we will read very soon. We also read it very soon. But let me just quickly read it to us. You see there the the, the character of the new man. As in, as a, as a, a new creature in Christ Jesus, you are supposed to be born again. You are supposed to have this behavior, this 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 character. You are supposed to, to possess these things. You are supposed to possess these things. Oh, everything that is evil, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentious behaviors, jealousy, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, all these things, fornication, adultery, all these things are evidence of the, of the flesh. And you are supposed to put them away from you. Envy, murders, drunkenness, reveries, and like. All these things are all evident of the flesh. If you still have these characters, if you still if all these things still manifest in you, in your in your in your in your person as a Christian, you are not born again. You have not known Christ. But as a Christian, what characters are you supposed to, 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 to portray? Yes. But the fruit of the spirit is love. Joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against such, there is no law. But Paul said in Galatians, these are the characters we are supposed to portray being a Christian. You, you don't need to, 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 to put a, a, a stamp in your head, I'm a Christian, to shoot people, to make people know you. Even if you put a stamp in your head and you have a, a, a contrary behavior to that that one is expected of a Christian, they will still know. Because that's why Jesus Christ said, by their fruit, by their fruit you shall know them. Every man, every woman that will meet you will know that this, this man is not a Christian because of your behavior. But as a Christian, we are supposed to carry all this behavior that I just read, goodness, gentleness, meekness, self-control, faithfulness. All these things are the character we are supposed to, to portray as Christian. That's why I, 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 I come to, to plead with you, brothers and sisters. If you have given your life to Jesus Christ, strive. Strive to walk through the narrow gates. Strive to be safe. Walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. Let people not deceive you. Don't listen to any man. Don't listen to any woman. Go to the Bible and read. Jesus Christ by himself said it. That when he come, when he will come back, he will come back for holy people. For holy people. Yes, I, I, I say it always. Nobody is perfect. But in Christ Jesus, we can be perfect. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. That's why, like I said before, it's not by power, you know, by might, but it's by the power, or I, mean, I mean, but it's by the Spirit, say the Lord. It is by the power of the Spirit of God that's in us that we'll be able to live a holy life. It is by the power of the Spirit of God that, that dwells in us that we'll be able to live a righteous life. It is by the power of the Spirit of God that dwells in us, that lives in us, that we'll be able to live that life that is worthy before Christ. 
so that when Jesus Christ will come, we'll be found worthy to enter into his kingdom. This is the most important thing. As us, as human beings, no matter what you have, no matter what you do, even what you do for, do for God, if you are not holy, you will not enter into his kingdom because his kingdom is not built or is not prepared for unholy people. His kingdom is prepared and built for people that are holy. Don't let on that day, don't let Jesus Christ tell you, I know you not. Go behind me, you that walk at iniquity. And that is what he will tell many people. Don't let, don't, don't be among those people that Jesus Christ will tell that word on that day. And on that day, it will be too late for you to change. Now that you are still alive, Jesus Christ has not come. We still have breath in our, in, in our, in, we still have life. You are still uh, uh, breathing. And we are still living. Use this opportunity to repent. And also use every time that I come here to speak the word of God or to, 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 to relate to us the things of God, I use this opportunity as well to speak to every man that has not given his or life to Jesus Christ. If you come across this video, I urge you, give your life to Jesus Christ. Seek the Lord Jesus because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comment unto the Father but through me. No matter what religion you belong to, you be a Buddhist, you be a Hindu, you be a, a, a Muslim, that cannot save you. There is only one way. There is only one name that is given among me. That name is the name of Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ and you will be safe. Brothers, let us continue. Let us go to uh, Ephesians chapter 5, starting from verse, uh, from verse 8 to 21. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8 to 21. I didn't Jesus' name. Let us read. Yeah, rapport was, it was like a continuity of what we just read in uh, Ephesians chapter 4. Was seen encouraging us as Christians. He said, yeah, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the, in, in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Yes, if you call yourself a Christian, you are supposed to walk as a child of light. We are Christians. We profess that we are we are children of, of, of the Most High God. And we know that our Father is light. We are supposed to walk as children of light. He went forth and said, For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Yes, that's what I was saying. That's what I even read before in, in Galatians. As a Christian, being in the Spirit, Feed with the spirit of the most high God. Feed with the spirit of God. Are we not supposed to, to show forth the fruit of the spirit? We understand that being a Christian, a born again, our the life that we live, we live in Christ Jesus. We don't live our life after the word, but we live our life after Christ, after the spirit of Christ. So are we not supposed to show forth that spirit as Christians? Are we not supposed to show forth that spirit? And if then we show forth that spirit, what is the fruit of that spirit? Like we read in, uh, in Galatians chapter chapter 5. Fruit, the, that, the fruit of, of, of the spirit is goodness and righteousness and truth, meekness, gentleness, love, self-control, faithfulness. All of these things are the fruit of the spirit. He said here, For the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. He went forth and said, proving what is acceptable unto God. Exactly, if you live in the Spirit, you have to prove all things that is acceptable unto God in your character, in your mannerism, in your way of, in your way of doing things, in your life as a, as, as a human being. The things of God must be seen. That shows that you are a Christian. That is what Jesus Christ meant when he said by their fruit, you shall know them. A good tree bears a good fruit. Why a evil tree bear a evil fruit? Good tree does not bear evil fruit. It's impossible. The same thing, an evil tree cannot bear good fruit. If we call ourselves Christian, if we say we are called by Jesus Christ, we are called by God the Almighty, the Holy One, we are supposed also to put in, put on that spirit of holiness and show forth the manifestation of that spirit in our life. We are not supposed to be hypocrites. Exactly, we are not supposed to be hypocrites. We say we are Christians, but people see 
our life as the, as as a, we, we 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 portray or, or or we show forth we portray the life of in our life as as if we are the, of of the devil. He went. He went forth and say, and have no fellowship with the with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's what saying the, the Lord is saying is telling telling us here. We as Christians, we don't have to have any fellowship. If you were in the world before, when you were when when you were kind and when you were in the world, you were in the world before doing all those evil things. Now that you are now in the light, show forth the light, walk in the light, reprove all those things that are of the devil, reprove them. Don't 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 show them. Don't don't even don't let them even have chance to manifest in your life. When the comfort. Reprove them, suppress them. Let the Holy Spirit empower you to, to walk in light. That's what he's telling us here. I have no fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. That is the things that are done of those that are not of God, that are, that are of the devil. And the same thing you see in life in Christendom today, that's the same thing they do. They do all sort of evil in secret place, but they come before the the, 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 the the brotherhood, before Christians, other Christians, and they call, and they call themselves Christians. Most especially, it happens among the, the people that are leading church. They do all sort of evil things. They call themselves, I don't know what type of Christian they are. In the face of all Christians, they pretend to be Christians, but when they go in their, in their, in their secret places, they go and be doing all sort of evil. That's why today you see people that call themselves men and women of God. All those evil people that call themselves men and women of God, they are they have the devil anyway. They are agent of the devil. As the Bible said, if the devil being a, 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 an agent of darkness can 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 uh, uh that's can deceive people by pretending to be an agent of agent of light, by pretending to be an agent of light, meaning Pretended to be an angel of light. The Bible said in Corinthians, it said, no one that is ministers does the same thing. They pretend to be the ministers of God, but in real truth, they are ministers of the devil. They work for the devil. That's what all these people do. You see them, they come before the church. They say they are pastors, they say they are prophets, they say they are apostles, they say they are this and they are that. They give themselves big names, bishop, archbishop, or reverend. And at, at their at their secret place. In their closet, they go and be doing all sorts of evil things. That's why at times when you hear the, the evil things that, that come out of that these people they do, you yourself will wonder, did this have ever these people ever knew God? Do, do, did they ever knew know God? They never. They never. They are all deceivers. It is God that is putting them to shame. That's why all those things that they do in secret at times, God will expose them. So that you that are believing that they are that they are followers of God, that they are real, uh, true Christians, you will, or, 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 or true pastors or true prophet or true whatever they they call themselves, so that you your eyes will be open, because many ignorant people are following them to hell. Many ignorant people. So that's what the Bible is telling us here. Even at times when you hear, let me let me put it back. Let me put it back a, a, a chapter, a, a verse. Let me put it. Uh, a verse back now you see most of the time when you hear even what they do in their in their in their in their that's in their secret place man you'll be ashamed really you'll be ashamed you'll be ashamed he said chapter 5 verse 11 i go back there he said i have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That is why what I'm trying to say is that these people, these uh, so-called f- f- false prophets, wolves, that call themselves Christians, that wear a uh, uh, sheep clothing, that's why they do. Instead of them to 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 not have any fellowship with unfruitful works of the, of darkness, that is what they, 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 they that, that is what they do. They are inside. But they come before other Christians to deceive themselves and deceive others that are ignorant. So, brothers and sisters, I'm using this opportunity to 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 urge you, all of us as Christians, we should we should understand that God is not mocked. God is not a man that you can deceive. 
whatever is in your heart before God is naked, is open. Whatever you think, whatever you, you plan, whatever you do in your secret place, God knows all things. So let us behave like God asks us to behave. Let us be holy. Let us keep ourselves holy and righteous so that when God will come, He will meet us prepared. Now, for it's a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Yes, really, it's a shame to see, to speak of those things that are done of them in secret. But we are not supposed to be partakers of these things. We are not supposed to show these things in our life. We are not supposed to let these things be, be seen in us at all. Be seen in us at all because we are Christians. We are supposed to show forth that holiness, true righteousness that is seen in the life of a true believer and true Christian. As Christians, we are supposed to show forth the, the life of Christ. That's what to be a Christian, it means. But all things are reproved. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Went forth and say, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is exactly. We should walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil, because the days that we are now is the days that are evil. We can see it. We can feel it. Evil is everywhere. The world is full of evil. The world don't even care anymore. They don't fear God anymore. They don't even want you that cause yourself a Christian to do the will of God anymore. They don't want you to even talk about God anymore. A few years before, the, it was not like that. But now we see that anything that concerns God, it, it irritates them as, as human beings. Because why? Because they are full of the devil. And that is what makes pains, that, 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 that what brings pains in my heart when I see Christians, so-called Christians, doing the, the things that these people are doing, following these people in their evil ways. And they also even follow them to fight against Christians and Christianity. Anyway, I pray may God, may God open their eyes and see that they are, they, are, they, are, they are going in the way of error. They are going to hell. So he's saying to us here, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yes, we should not be unwise. We should not be, we should not be ignorant. We should not be, at, at, we should not be foolish. But we should understand the will of the Lord. The will of the Lord for us is to be holy and righteous so that when He come, He will come and meet us holy. Exactly. The days that we are in is the day of evil. The days are evil. We need to be circumspect. We need to be wise. We need to, 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 to walk in a way that will be pleasing to God because the days are evil. Yes, the time is short. And be not drunk with wine. Wearing in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. You see, not going around drinking, getting drunk. That makes me wonder. Many Christians, <laughs> I really, what I hear some Christians say, I don't want to say it here. That's what the Bible just said. That what they do in secret, what they say, is even, at times you even be ashamed, you, 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 you will even be ashamed to, to say it. Because why? Because it's so, it's so, it's so, yes, it's so disturbing to the ear. For one to say such Christians are doing such things. My brothers and sisters, I plead, let us keep ourselves holy. Let us keep ourselves in the ways of Christ. Let us keep our garment cleansed. Let us be even focused. Let our eyes be on the things of God. Yes, uh, we, are in the, we are in the world. The Lord, our God knows that we, being in the world, we, there are things that we need. That's why Jesus Christ said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God 
and its righteousness. Every other thing will be added up to you. As Christians, we are supposed to walk in the ways of God. We are supposed to obey God, put our life in the, in the hands of God, cast our curse upon Jesus Christ because he cared for us. And Christ will make everything easy. Christ will make everything go well for us. We don't need to fear about what may we do to us. We need to obey God and live holy. He went forth and said, speaking to, speaking to yourselves in psalms, in hymns, and spiritual songs, singing, and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourselves to one another in the fear of God. You see, this is all God wants us to do as Christians. To fear Him, to obey Him, to do everything to be safe, to walk in spirit, not to walk in the flesh, to walk in the ways of God. You see, God is giving us warning. He's, he's giving us warning every day. He's telling us so that we understand, so that on that day we know, we know, we know come before him and say we, we did not know there is no i don't know before god that's why god is speaking to every man sending people sending us out to want christians to want everybody both christians and not to repent to give your life to jesus christ if you are not safe give your life to jesus christ accept the lord jesus christ as your lord and savior look for uh, 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 some some uh, some some priests and get baptized. Ask him to fill you with Holy Spirit, and and put yourself in the right in the right path. That's make yourself ready, because it will come at any time. If you are a Christian, you have been baptized. Keep yourself holy. Remove yourself from everything that does not pleases God, from all things of 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 the world, all kind of things. Remove from from yourself from it. Don't continue to live the life that you were living while you were carnal or you were an unbeliever. Don't continue to live that life while you are now a Christian. It does not make sense. You said you now belong to Jesus Christ, now belong to God. Then you still be living a life as if you have the devil. Let us repent. God is warning us. Let us repent and keep ourselves holy. Because we don't, we don't know when it will come. We don't know when it comes. Even before, before uh, 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 this word, before you hear this word, God might even come. If you are, if if when I put this word in in the in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the internet, even before you finish listening to it, God might even come. Even before me, I finish speaking now, God might even Jesus Christ might even come. But let us not let Him meet us on our way. Let us be ready, so that when He come. Will be able to enter into his kingdom, and he will tell us, "Well done, welcome, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the rest that I have prepared, prepared for you, before the beginning of the world." My brothers and sisters, I want to stop here for today. I pray that God will speak to your heart. I pray that God will make you understand that He is not joking. God is not joking about about what He said. Every word that is said, it means, it, it, it means every word that is said. He said we should be holy. That without holiness, no one can see him. Without holiness, we cannot enter his kingdom. He meant it. He, he, meant, it. he meant everything that he said, that he wrote on the Bible for us to, 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 to learn. So let us prepare ourselves. Let us look at our life. Read the Bible. Look at our life. If there's any way we are, we are going wrong, if there's any way we are, we are falling short, of, of, of the light or the righteousness of the holiness of God, we should put ourselves right now that we still have life. I pray that God will speak to your heart, my brothers and my sisters, so that you will know that God is not mocked. God is not a man. As he said, whatever any man sow, that shall he reap. May God bless you. If you come ac uh, uh, across this video, uh, uh, I ask you to share it with your friends, share it with your, with your loved ones. Let them also hear this word and understand about the things of God. 
if there's any if there's any 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 way this this message can also help them to bring them out of darkness into light or to correct to help them correct their path being a Christian. Share this video with them. Share this with any any anybody. So that people will know that God is warning us. God is expecting us to be holy. It is left for us to be holy, to hear his word and, and, and make ourselves and make our 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 path right and make our ourselves right before him. God is, is God, you see, God's not a respecter of any man. He's not a respecter of any person. If you sow good, you will also reap good. If you sow evil, you will also reap evil. So my brother and sister, share this video. If you want to comment, comment. If you want to uh, to, to subscribe, subscribe. So that whenever I put out any video, you'll be the first to, 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 to know. May God bless you. I pray, may God speak to your heart. Thank you very much for listening. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.